<sighs> oh, hi. Yes, it's been some time since I've made a YouTube video. Coming up is the 7th, so February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. Nine months, natural. Does it feel like nine months? No, not at all. Time flies really, really fast. Um, I do have a blog called www.naturalgmonet.com, which I have been updating posts on a lot more than I have my YouTube. Um, because of school and being all right, I've not really been on my video blogging, um, weight loss blogging tip. Yes, I am still taking um, the B pollen capsules, but I've also taken Flintstones vitamins. I know it sounds really, really cheesy, but um, it's great. Like, just a simple chewable or simple vitamin paired with the weight loss thing does so much for my energy, my health, and a lot of the good stuff. Um, with college and with life comes growth and development. So my hair's been growing. Um, um, it's here now. It's in some little twist things that I'm sure have locked up by now. Um, my hair locks really, really easily, and I have a small feeling that that's what's happening. My hair is in cornrows, old cornrows. Um, I basically, if you read my blog, but I'll tell you now, I'm doing a one year protective hairstyle challenge meaning my hair is going to stay protected for one whole year um only time it's taken out is to wash condition and it's getting back cornrow braided twisted whatever um it's not going to be out in the elements at all if anything it's under these coofs it's tied up it's doing whatever it wants to do but it is not out in elements is wrapped up for a year um, I've had track. <laughs> if you checked out my um, blog, you'll know. Um, braids track. Now I'm doing the corn roll twist thing. I'm getting braids again with track. Um, I will record and show you guys that. Um, also, with growth and development comes a time when a natural is fed up. I think going natural is so exciting and so fun that I wasn't taking care of my hair. I was taking care of my hair in the sense that I was conditioning it every day, and I was giving it moisture every day. I was oiling it and washing it every single day, but <laughs> it being out was not taking care of my hair. It was the excitement of being natural that was holding me together. The clipping my ends, because I was excited to do it, the pinning it up, putting it back. I mean, all this fine and dandy for styling your hair or whatever, but when it comes to actually taking care of your hair, I feel like I was taking care of it, but I wasn't. And I think my fifth, sixth month natural is that transition. And it makes me think, I used to be upset with the young lady that go, I go to school with. Um, she went natural. Um, she has pretty hair. It was always wearing out in a puff. And I'm like, oh my God, why is her hair always in cornrows? Why is her hair always twisted? Why is her hair always in singles? Why is she always getting braids? Duh. <laughs> I didn't realize until now that when you keep your hair braided, tied, um, corn rolled, um, lock, um, twisted, singles, all of that stuff is what keeps your hair from the element and all elements and all that stuff is what really helps your hair grow. Not conditioning it every single day not i mean you can wet it every day while it's like this but not washing it every day not wetting it every day not slicking conditioners and leaving it in your hair every day my hair has grown the best and the fastest like this um twisted up locked up well mother twist twisted up corn rolled up my hair itself it has grown so much better my little 
cornrow pieces that I keep hidden. Um, has grown a lot better under wraps. It really has. Keeping it to my skull and in koofies or bonnets or whatever you want to call it every day, that has helped my hair grow the most. Um, conditioning my hair every two weeks, washing my hair every two weeks, that is what has helped my hair grow the most. Putting shea butter and oils on my hair once every other day or to not get less so much product build up, that is what helped my hair grow the most. Not conditioning it every day and having it out every day and being excited that I'm natural. All that stuff isn't really helping my hair grow and it's not really helping me understand my hair. Don't get me wrong, it's very, very fun. It's great to style your hair every day, yes. And for someone who does want to get their hair to grow better or faster, um, keeping it like this so it's not rubbing up against stuff and breaking off and getting dried out, that's the best way. And it took me a couple months to realize it, but once I did, I'm excited. Um, also updates for growth and development. I'm trying to check my time. Six minutes. <laughs> um, I buy shea butter. I buy whipped shea butter. I buy oil mixes. The whole nine. I'm tired. Why? When I can make my own. So I went out. I'm not, I didn't bring the whole thing. I bought, I spent like a hundred something dollars at Whole Foods. I went ham. Yes. Um, peppermint, rosemary, lavender, vanilla. Um, these are essential oils. Um, so, I mean... I want to make my own stuff. I want to make my own essential oils. I want to essential oils. I make my own shea butter mixes. I want to make my own oil mixes. I don't have to go here to buy this. I want to make my own spray. I want to. I want to do all that stuff. So I just put the stuff myself. I have avocado oil and other other type of oil, but I mean, that's it. So I'm gonna update you guys on my own shea butters, my own water spritz mixes as well as my own um oil mixes later but um this is just update now it's natural this is where i am today um yeah i'm excited um so that's it oh 4c hair is gonna curl it's a lot longer than it looks I can't really pull it <laughs> completely out but I'm excited and I'll actually be updating you guys with some more videos soon so thanks for watching